Hi everyone, I am Linda Welbrock. I am the founder of Leading Women Entrepreneurs and the New Jersey Force for Change Awards during COVID. We have a powerful guest with us today. Her name is Laura Jackson, and she's the Sen Senior Managing Director at FTI Consulting. Congratulations, Laura, for all of your hard work, and thank you for taking the time to, for being with us today. Oh, thanks, Linda, I appreciate it. So tell us what is FTI Consulting? So FTI Consulting is a 5,000 plus uh, person company uh, focused globally. Um, we basically help our clients in all different industries. Um, we have a group that focuses on PR. Uh, we have a group that uh, called Strategic Communications. Um, we also have a real estate group, which I'm in, uh, that focuses on really helping our clients, which are predominantly landlords, uh, navigate the real estate industry. And uh, we have a few other segments within FTI that also help out clients. And basically anything that uh, clients could need in, in uh, crisis management, uh, we are there uh, for them all the time, especially during this uh, difficult Corona time. Tell me what is your role within the organization? Sure. So I'm one of the leaders of our tax group. So I'm actually a CPA by background and uh, I do tax work for a lot of the large public REITs, uh, pri primarily based in uh, New York and New Jersey. Um, so uh, REITs by nature um, are real estate investment trusts, and um, I help them out filing their tax returns, coming up with their structure, um, you know, any ways that I can help them save money from a tax perspective and make sure that they keep in the REIT structure. That's where I focus. Such important, um, important information, especially during this pandemic. I'm sure things shifted quite a bit. And if you wouldn't mind telling us a little bit about how you and the organization pivoted to remain um, <laughs> so as a mother of twins, I'm sure you can understand that I have a special <laughs> guest coming in with me. Um, <laughs> during the pandemic, how did you continue to have your clients uh, engaged and provide them with additional resources? Sure. So during the pandemic, it's obviously been a very uh, unexpected time and came on quite quickly. So what's most important for us is to make sure that our clients understand all of the tools that are available to them to get through this pandemic. So from a tax perspective, there were many opportunities to take extra tax deductions or to apply for government loans that would maximize their cash flow and allow them to keep in business and to keep their employees on the payroll um, and to be able to help their tenants out so that in the long run, you know, the tenants can continue paying the rent and the landlords can stay in business. So we've been very focused on following all of the government uh, rules and regulations that have been passed and making sure that we can explain them to clients in a way that they can really understand it and use them to their benefit. It's, I mean, it's we're so thankful to have you as a resource during all of this, especially um, when all these new rules came out, it's just was so important to have someone to rely on to, to get all of us through this. So thank you for that. And I know that FTI is a huge supporter of diversity and inclusion, and you lead the women's initiative there. So why don't you tell me a little bit about your role and um, what you hope to accomplish and how important uh, equality within your organization Sure. So FTI is very, very focused on uh, both women and uh, diversity, inclusion and belonging. And I actually serve on both of those committees within FTI. Um, just by way of a little bit of background, as I was coming up through my career, uh, we had a program called the Managing Director Leadership Forum. Uh, and we have one specific for women. And so I was chosen for that program. And it was one of the most uh, monumental things that happened in my career. Um, I got to go down to our uh, Washington, D.C. office for a week, and they flew in women from all across the world. Um, so I got to make really good friends and really good contacts within the company, and in, they're in all different segments. So if I uh, would like to meet another woman or I meet a client that has a need uh, in forensic accounting in England, I have a great contact there. Um, and so just the, the investment that FTI has made in, in my career has really um, encouraged me to be able to give back and help other people within FTI, other women um, and people of diversity. So uh, just really giving um, coaching and training and making sure that women have all of the tools they need to get to the top of the company and they, they really see a direction. Uh, we're fortunate to have great representation of uh, women on our executive committee. So you know, we, can, we have the support and we can see the vision of, of how to get there within FTI. So that's been really important. Um, we also run a bunch of uh, panels and, and have guest speakers and we can invite clients. And so 
I think it's really important for uh, you know women to be able to tap into their network sooner in their career. So having these panel and these uh, these invites um, go out, it, I think it's really important for them to build relationships early on so that they can get to the next levels and grow within the company. Right, and see the full journey as an entry level person, understand that, you know, oh, this is what Laura Jackson did and this is how she got to where she is and I should take the same path and then to have you as a mentor. We're huge believers in mentorship and obviously we have been helping companies run women's initiatives for many, many years. So applaud you on your efforts with that. Um, you're obviously a leader and example. Um, I wanna ask uh, two last questions. You have been involved in some really important work outside of FTI. Can you tell us about your volunteer work? Sure. So this year I'm currently uh, on two boards uh, for 2020, I was elected uh, the now virtual chairman of uh, YMWREA, which is a real estate association in New York that focuses on uh, the social aspect of real estate, but also really giving back. So uh, we do events like Habitat for Humanity and we do Feed the Less Fortunate around Thanksgiving time where we serve a full Thanksgiving dinner uh, in a park in Queens. Um, and then also I'm, I've been on the board for many years now of Rebuilding Together NYC. Uh, which is a charity that gives back to people that are either veterans, uh, low income, uh, or elderly in the five boroughs. And so anything from rebuilding a community center to uh, making repairs to their homes, uh, you know, you can't really, I've always been very fortunate to be able to, uh, you know, have a home and have my family. And it's so important for people to be able to have uh, a place just to create the family environment and to to come home from work and um, we, with rebuilding together, you know, we not only uh, help repair the homes, but also now have a workforce training program, which is going to be so important in the next couple of years uh, because there's so many unemployed New Yorkers right now. So uh, that group actually is, is taking people that have no career uh, opportunity and training them in construction and giving them a certificate. So uh, they'll have not only a, a way to have their home, but they'll have uh, a future uh, in a career, which is really important. So that's a big focus of mine outside of FTI. And I'm really glad that FTI has been so supportive of it, um, you know, not only financially, uh, but just in allowing me to give my time to people that really need it. it. It certainly sounds incredible. And you're making such a huge impact in so many different ways. And so we, we definitely want to thank you for that. I want to ask you one last question since we've all transi transitioned into working from home. Is there something that you have had more time to do since this pandemic broke out? Yeah, so when this when this pandemic first started, I thought I would have all this time to do so many different things. I was going to learn a new language and um, but what's been really important, I have 12 year old daughter, uh, twin daughters. And so it's just been so nice to be home and spend more time with them. Uh, last week I, I was off for the week and uh, my daughter and I started learning Italian actually on Duolingo, um, new app. Um, and so we've also made a list of a bunch of old movies. Well, they call them old movies. To me, they're just movies like Back to the Future, The Fugitive. We, so we've just been really um, connecting and having movie night and having a really good time together. So it's been very enjoyable. I completely understand. I also am a mother of 13 year old twins and a nine year old daughter, but um, I, I loved that I got to spend so much time with them. I um, didn't know I was actually had a talent for several board games that have now become a staple in our house, including Clue and Scrabble and, and other ones. So I, yeah. I'm with you. <laughs> That's awesome. My daughters love Clue. They like to watch the movie Clue and then play the game. Yeah, I know. It's like, it's actually really fun. They're onto something. <laughs> um, it is. Laura, we can't thank you enough for all of your good work. Uh, we can't wait to celebrate you on November 2nd and FTI as a force for change in New Jersey during COVID. And we um, just are really honored to have you with us. So congratulations again. Thanks, Linda. I really appreciate it.